Um, I, I don't know if this is a great way to start a morning, but, um, and I can't say it's my distinct pleasure because it, it, it isn't, to, to really give you a quick overview of uh, our, our budget for 2011. And I, I'm going to try to do this very quickly, uh, but I think given our discussion, it's important to uh, really put this in uh, context. So um, obviously the state, uh, along with the rest of the nation, is experiencing uh, what's now being referred to as the uh, Great Recession. Uh, the economic impact nationally, internationally, and certainly uh, within our state has been enormous. And I would say that the uh, rate of decline in uh, our state revenues is also historic. Um, and even with a modest increase, which I'll touch on, that's predicted for fiscal year 2011, it is not enough to um, uh, prevent, uh, unfortunately, additional budget reductions and cuts and um, really an extraordinary need for fiscal restraint. And so, uh, and, and that's really important because in this state we have to, and the governor and the legislature has to deliver a balanced budget. So let me uh, briefly touch on um, uh, a number of, of points here. The, the state revenues um, the original budget, uh, we have what we call consensus revenue estimate, which is agreement by the governor and the legislature on what the economic outlook is and what the revenue estimate is for the state of Missouri. In 2010, that number was almost $7.8 billion. It was revised for 2010 to um, about uh, $7 billion. Uh, a 6.4 percent decline and an $800 million dollar uh, reduction in collections from the previous year. For the upcoming fiscal year 2011, which begins in uh, July, we're actually, uh, uh, the recommendation was a 3.6 percent increase over uh, the revised estimate. Um, it's an increase of about 250 some million, but it's important to note that it is below the collections uh, in 08 of 8 billion and uh, collections in 09 of uh, almost 7.5 billion. So th the context is um, this is a, a pretty serious and major decline. We all know why it's happened. Um, the estimates uh, of our major revenue sources for 2010 show serious decline 5.3% uh, for sales and tax. 5.1% uh, for individual income tax and 17.5% for corporate income. Uh, just a note, corporate income actually is the smallest amount of this tax. That, that's not a commentary, it's just when people see that number, they find the, the percent increase, they, they uh, find that a little staggering. Um, we are estimating that these will uh, increase and uh, all uh, really across the board and so um, we're predicting uh, some economic recovery uh, beginning the second half of uh, this annual year and the first half of the 2011 fiscal year. Um, this sort of shows you uh, very visually what's happened over the last um, uh, six years, uh, five years and, and projecting into 2011. And you can see that 2009 and 2010 are showing a pretty serious uh, reduction and then the slight increase in 2011. This next graph shows you, um, I, I think the important thing to take away here is in, in the last um, really more than a decade, uh, we've only had um, uh, three periods where the economic uh, impact of revenue decline has been pretty critical and I think if you think back to 2002, 2003 in the budget discussions, we were talking about a $350 million problem at the time. Uh, today we're talking about a problem that is three times that uh, size. This is not uh, for those who uh, attest for who can see uh, really well, <laughs> but um, I, I think this is a really um, pretty interesting uh, graph because it, it goes back 20 years and um, it shows uh, the economic um, impact on uh, state and local tax revenues or what our results were. And um, 
We've only had uh, three, four, five, five quarters, and probably six or seven by the time we're done, where we've seen this type of dramatic decline in uh, state revenue. They've all happened in this decade. And um, if you look at what's happened over the last number of years, th that's a pretty uh, staggering change. And honestly, it's the, it's the biggest change in uh, the last 50 years. The budget for 2011, um, it, it's a, almost a $24 billion budget, $23.9 billion. There's $8.3 billion in general revenue, and, and once you, re you reduce uh, that by the refunds that go back to all of us as uh, taxpayers sometimes, uh, it, it comes down to the $7.2 billion. Uh, we really have the benefit of this budget uh, help through the federal um, matches and programs of $7.5 billion, and then there's other revenue that comes in that's $8.1 billion. Now, that's the total budget. Uh, when we look at what's within our control, it really is uh, the general revenue. Here's how the budget breaks out. 42% um, of the budget is for human services, and, and um, I think that's why many of you are here. And I'm not going to go around and describe every one of these, but uh, again, over 40% goes to support the people uh, in this state uh, in so many different ways, whether it's mental health, Department of Health and Senior Services, uh, Department of Social Services, other initiatives. The second biggest part of the budget is um, uh, elementary and secondary education. And so that's why I think most of the conversation and what you hear revolves uh, around those two areas. So the governor put forward a budget um, and to help balance the budget, he has eliminated an additional 544 positions. That's on top of 1,300 positions that have already been eliminated since January. So we're talking about 1,800 positions that have or will be eliminated in state government. Fortunately, we've been trying to manage that and have been, uh, many of these eliminations have resulted from us holding position vacancies. But that is a huge change. And in this, uh, also in this budget, uh, he has asked for and recommended um, an additional $253 million in revenue reductions, uh, half of that coming out of Medicaid. And I, I'm, I will talk about that more specifically uh, when it gets to my turn in the panel. And I think, uh, not just to close this, and again, this is something hard to, to uh, look at and, and get a quick sense, but essentially this, this blue line um, are uh, the expenses in the state uh, over the last number of years. Uh, obviously this is projected out if nothing changes, uh, and it's, um, this green line is our actual revenue from uh, uh, collections and um, transfer uh, of uh, dollars. And the reason we have been able to balance the budget is this yellow line, which is federal money. And you can see that uh, the amount of federal money that's come in in the last uh, uh, two years has been, and this year, is enormous. When that money uh, really ends in December of this year, uh, 2010, there's as much of a, almost a, a billion dollar gap. And to put this in context, along with the changes we've, we've made and worked hard uh, in managing the budget, uh, we've also, the governor and all of us, have uh, reduced the general revenue budget in this past year and by holding some capital projects by almost uh, $650 million. So adding on top of that another 250, this has been a huge, huge challenge. But I think we've tried to do this in the context of not just cuts across the board, which many states are doing, 10% cut across the board. Every decision that we're making is being reviewed, sorted through, debated, discussed. And um, while we're at a point where the decisions we're making uh, are not between good and bad, but uh, uh, bad and worse. So these are tough times and challenges.